seems like everyone is talking about artificial intelligence or AI, and there's a lot of fear and concern about what it means to humans. Today, we're focusing on how it will affect education. Joining me now is Sri Srinivasan, the co-founder of DigiMentors, a digital media agency, and the former chief digital officer for New York City, the Met Museum, and Columbia University. Hi. Hello, so happy to be here. Thank you for being here because you can calm everyone down. <laughs> because some people, you know, they're excited about AI, but a lot are afraid. What would you tell them? Well, I'll say that AI isn't new. We've been talking about it for a long time. Steven Spielberg had a movie back in 2001 called AI Artificial Intelligence. What's changed is since last year, exactly a year ago, this, uh, this program called ChatGPT was unleashed in the world. And therefore, now you can see this new thing called generative AI. AI, which seems to be much more intelligent it's not really it's just a way to generate images text information in a new and different way and that's what's surprising people and I just want to point out because you were telling me there's a lot of things that are AI have been for years yes. such as autocorrect on your phone mm -hmm. uh, or when you're uh, using Grammarly which is another mm -hmm. tool that a lot of people use to kind of correct uh, if you're talking to Siri if you're talking to Alexa you're talking you know saying hey Google to your right so that's all AI it's all different forms of AI okay so because I think it's easier <laughs> to look at it when you know oh we've been using that for a long time um, how is it affecting education both good and bad well the first thing is that Anybody who has to you do any kind of written assignment, kids to postdoc folks are all starting their work on this and starting their first assignments on there and their first drafts on there. And so that's not inherently bad, but if you don't know that that's what's happening, that can be a problem. Uh, because a lot of the things that are being turned out in the results of this, you know, are not accurate. And mm -hmm. so that's the danger because people are so reliant on it. And uh, it's like, you know, when you search on Google, right, there was a time when we didn't know how to do it. We learned how to do it. And then you know that there are things that are not the right results. The problem with generative AI is it looks real. Yeah. What you're, what it's like, you ask it for an essay, mm -hmm. you ask any topic, it will give you, it'll spit out an essay for you, but you don't know if it's accurate or not. Wow. Okay, so what are the biggest changes that we should prepare for? So mainly understanding how to interact with the AI. So there are different brands. You've heard ChatGPT. Well, there's also one from Google called Bard. And what we're looking at here is really interesting. This is the AI detector. So AI detecting AI. So uh, this is this. I entered a essay that I wrote into an AI detector and it said I'm 97% human. Uh, so what if the professor's cutoff is 98%? Then mm -hmm. I would fail that class. Right. And it's going to be a cat and mouse between finding out these AIs using uh, their technology to kind of figure out if others are using AI. Now, um, very quickly, mm -hmm. you know, it's all about learning about AI and you have a workshop coming up. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to invite anybody in New York or watching anywhere where uh, it's a workshop on November 9th where we will uh, it'll be me teaching uh, my non-scary guide to AI and also an all-star all -star panel, and we have more information on the website. So. All right. Thank you so much, Shri. Thank you. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to see you next Tuesday because we want to talk about how AI will affect the job market and how we can be ready for those changes. So for more information on AI and Shri's class, we have a link at cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.